The five questions to ask when upgrading your school audiovisual equipment. Question one, what type of classroom is it? Specialty rooms such as drama, media or art rooms may have different needs than English, science or house classrooms. They may require a larger image display or a superior sound system. Windows, walls, partitions and bulkheads may play a part in the system chosen and may even limit the options for some rooms. The three things to consider here are 1. The image size required for that particular room. 2. If an audio system is required and if so what type. And 3. Any limitations dictated by the room layout. Question 2. What display should I use? A projector or an LED panel? A projector will give you the lowest cost entry for a classroom display and whilst it's not the best resolution, it will provide you with the largest image at the lowest price. An LED panel will give you the best and brightest image quality available today. For classrooms where image quality is preferred over size, then an LED display panel will be the best solution. Things to consider when deciding between a projector and a panel are 1. Initial cost of implementation and ongoing maintenance costs. 2. The image resolution or picture quality and 3. The ambient light levels within that room. Question 3. Should it be interactive or display only? Now not every classroom needs an interactive solution but most would benefit from having one. The things to consider when deciding between interactive or display only are 1. The teaching style or curriculum to be delivered 2. The built-in features of the display and 3. The software, training and backup support including warranty policy. Question 4. What do I need to connect and where? Now this is often an overlooked area during the procurement process. However, it is important to ascertain what inputs are required for connection to any new display and where the inputs should be installed. The things to consider here are 1. The existing classroom PC connection, 2. The connection of any other devices and 3. The location of those inputs in relation to PCs and devices. Question 5. What training and support do I need? Any new hardware, and especially software provided with your new system, will need some level of training. Ask your AV supplier what training and support is included with your new system. Also ask your AV supplier about what happens if something goes wrong with your hardware. Does it need to be taken away leaving your classroom without a system? Or do they have a replacement whilst your system is being repaired? Things to consider. 1. Ease of use for the hardware chosen. Two training for the hardware and software included, and three, the warranty and replacement policy. So hopefully, this has given you some information to begin your investigation. Consider the features and benefits of each system and make a decision based on needs and what best suits your classroom, not on what seems cheap that month or trendy at the time. If you're still unsure, then ask your AV supplier to conduct a school-wide analysis and work together to implement a thought-out upgrade path for the technology in your school. Ask for side-by-side -side demonstrations so you can see firsthand the differences in the technology available to allow you and your team to make an informed decision. I've written an e-book containing these five questions in more detail. Also included is a detailed description of the four main classroom AV solutions available for you to choose from. Click on the link to download the ebook and start planning for your school AV system upgrades now.